Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, overnight, the Australian dollar attempted to restore its bullish bias after printing a fresh four-month low against the greenback at 76.07, rebounded to a high of 48. With the downtrend still holding at 76.8090, any renewed rallies towards that level should fail. From the technical implications, I still expect to see further weakness. With the immediate target holding at 75.80, I am a little bit cautious towards that level, as we may see bids or buyers start firming up from that level. So if you are short, I would view towards that region, at least taking some profit or to the trader's preference, as we could see a rebound off that level. Well, my view in euro has been taken out now, and uh, from the break of 117.05.15, now leaves me neutral. With the US dollar taking heavy casualties overnight, the euro soured following a stronger than expected German GDP and solid inflation figures. Despite strong wholesale price inflation in the US, though, still failed to inject momentum to the greenback. So therefore, with the break now exposes up towards 118.50.70. And also to note is the dollar index crushed its support or the uptrend at 93.80 after printing a low of 93.62. Currently trading at 93.68. I need now to assess how the market plays in the next 24 hours with a bullish uh, MACD coming through and also does question the RSI at this point at this highs could see a pullback but I still need confirmation to any strategy in the short term. Not much to add to dollar yen, it's still coasting sideways and happily to hold within the range of 113.15 to 113.85. I still view though with the US dollar weakened that we could see a move towards this level of 112.80. I'm a buyer from there but I would place the stop underneath just in case it does break because the next target comes in is at 112.30 to 35. If we do get a rebound from there then I'm back, looking back towards 114.5. Well, like Euro, my view for the pound is still neutral. And with the British pound taking another roller coaster ride overnight, after fresh news from the UK media reveals that about 40 lawmakers from the ruling Conservative Party had agreed to sign a letter of non confidence against the PM, protesting that she has not been pushing strong enough on the implementing of the hard Brexit. So the pound is still ro roller coasting in this 130 to 133 range. And with the downtrend coming in still emanating from around 131.80 to 132. With the technicals flat, does uh, view at this point a little strategy to come out and give a call to. Well, it was all cheers yesterday for the gold as it rebounds off 1,270. And now it looks up towards 85 to 88 to 90 with the technical implications a little bit mixed, but still... If you are long, I would look towards taking profit either from the range of around 85.90 as we could see a short-term pullback once again. But the market still looks quite comfortable to hold longs at this time. Well, my view in oil came through overnight after rejecting that level of $58 recently. Now plummets towards the support coming in now at 54.70. Uh, reassess from there, purely for the fact is if we break that level, then we could be looking towards this uptrend, which comes in around $51 and a half a barrel. Any rallies now looks towards resistance of 55.90. So that wraps up today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you have a great day ahead.